Powdery mildew is a common disease on many varieties of plants. There are different classes of powdery mildew fungi, and every class only attacks specific plants. A wide variety of vegetable crops are affected by powdery mildew, but today we'll be focusing on powdery mildew on iceberg lettuce. Hi, I'm Paul Brierley, the Executive Director of the Yuma Center of Excellence for Desert Agriculture. And in this video, you'll hear from Dr. Michael Matheron, who's been a plant pathologist with the U of A for over 32 years. Did you know that downy and powdery mildew can both be present in the field together? It's important to correctly identify diseases in the field because each disease requires a different treatment. Let's hear more from Dr. Matheron. Powdery mildew of lettuce caused by the fungus Dolevinomyces chicoraceiarum is usually considered a minor disease in most production areas. However, in Arizona, the disease can cause significant reduction in yield and quality. Spores of the fungus that come into contact with lettuce plant leaves will develop under favorable environmental conditions, infect the leaves, and produce visible symptoms, which initially appear as small, circular, white, powdery colonies on both the upper and lower leaf surfaces. Over time, these powdery growths enlarge eventually merge and can virtually cover the entire leaf. Infection occurs first on the oldest lower leaves, then proceeds to involve more of the lettuce plant as it approaches maturity. Infected leaves may turn yellow and eventually brown as they dry out. The white powdery growth associated with the disease contains mycelium and asexual spores of the fungus. These ellipsoid to barrel-shaped spores are produced in long chains. Although not common, sexual spores within round structures can also be produced. Asexual spores can be dispersed over long distances by wind, mostly between the time of noon and 4 p.m. Optimal temperature for spore germination and growth of mycelium is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. However, infection can occur anywhere between 43 and 81 degrees. Maximum germination of asexual spores occurs between 95 to 98 percent relative humidity. On the other hand, free water will inhibit their germination. This pathogen can infect at least 150 plant species. There's evidence for the existence of special forms or races of the pathogen. Powdery mildew spores collected from lettuce have been shown to cause disease on plants such as artichoke, calendula, cantaloupe, chicory, cucumber, endive, and sunflower. Fungicides can be very effective powdery mildew management tools. Sulfur, one of the oldest fungicides known, is very effective in preventing development of powdery mildew. Other fungicides, often with systemic properties, can also be highly effective. To achieve the highest level of disease control from fungicide products, the following points need to be considered. A fungicide application program should rotate among or use combinations of products with different methods of action to delay development of resistance within the pathogen population to these active ingredients. It is essential to read fungicide labels carefully as these documents provide valuable information concerning the particular characteristics of the product and application instructions. For ideal performance, a fungicide application program should be initiated with disease prevention as a goal, when environmental conditions favor disease, but before the visual appearance of powdery mildew. Continued treatments will be necessary as long as favorable environmental conditions exist. Thorough coverage of foliage also is essential for optimum fungicide performance. Cultural management tools that can affect powdery mildew severity include when and where lettuce is planted. In southwestern Arizona, powdery mildew usually occurs from January to the end of the production season in late March to early April. Within this time period, 
Some areas are more prone to the disease than others, so choice of planting site can be important. Even though powdery mildew of iceberg lettuce is considered a minor disease, it is still a concern and can be managed. Success in managing this disease can be enhanced by using an integrated disease management tactic. Simply put, this involves incorporating all available management tools within a disease management action plan. Our goal at the Yuma Center of Excellence is to quickly solve problems through research and innovation. We hope that you found this information helpful as you work to manage powdery mildew of lettuce. For an in-depth look at this topic and many others, please go to our website at desertagsolutions.org.